Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Arcadia Quest Riders. This is only a week-long Kickstarter from Cool Mini or Not, as they continue to experiment with the Kickstarter platform. Alright, so as I said, this is a very quick, I think there's actually, you know, like three or two days left at the time of posting for this, but you get 15 highly detailed miniatures, six mounts, two heroes, and then seven villains. Here's some of the mounts here. Now, this is an expansion only, so you have to have Arcadia Quest or Arcadia Quest uh, Inferno to even utilize this. This is some of the new characters they have. They've just added, you know, kind of more of everything plus the the um, actual mounts. And the mounts are kind of interesting because you can actually equip them with different things and you can actually get on them and they have special abilities and each one's kind of unique. And, and they're really cool miniatures and all, uh, which, which is kind of nice. But because this is such a short campaign, there aren't really too many stretch goals. In fact, there, are only, or there aren't any stretch goals and there are only two Kickstarter exclusive items to even speak of. Um, but more on that in, in just a little bit. So this does interact with all of the other um, items that they've had, though. So here you can see kind of the different quest paths. So even if you have like pets and beyond the grave, you can add those into there and uh, use those expansions to just get more content, which is pretty cool. So if you're heavily invested in Arcadia Quest, you can, you know, utilize it. Here are the exclusives, by the way. So you get two exclusive mounts, the Stone Beak and the Phantom. You can't get those anywhere else retail. This is the only Kickstarter exclusive item. Besides, there are also some dice. And, and, and the dice are cool too. I do like the dice. There's these kind of like frost dice pack. However, this isn't all the content. In fact, there's stuff you can't get here. Um, which is kind of odd. So they're gonna have like, um, store events. And if you can't get to the store event, I guess you're not getting these. But as you can see right here, there is Samson and the Baron. So you can get these two mounts plus the Pearl dice if you go to one of these events. Otherwise, you don't get these. So um, it's kind of odd to have such a small Kickstarter, I feel, and not be able to get everything. And in fact, to be up front, well, this is, I guess it's not quite up front. This isn't mentioned on the Kickstarter. It's only on their website um, where you can kind of order them and I don't know if anybody can order them or if you have to be a retailer or I didn't really look into it. it to me it doesn't really matter and it doesn't matter because I don't own Arcadia Quest um, I don't own Arcadia Quest because I would love to Kickstarter Arcadia Quest uh, because they have awesome um, you know Kickstarter exclusives however they're not offering a package deal they're not even offering the fact that you can get the core game this is strictly uh, $65 for this expansion and you get what you get, which is like the three tiles, the components, the new miniatures. This is a pretty weird campaign, I gotta admit. So I'll link to the Kickstarter in the description below. So feel free to kind of check out this kind of very peculiar and interesting uh, Cool Mini or Not offering. And uh, let me know what you think. I'd be curious to know what you think about using these kind of flash sales pre uh pre-retail for uh, Kickstarter. Is this something you're interested in? Is this is this not? You know, Coleman, you're not. It's really trying to... You got to give them credit here. They're really trying to... I don't know if push the envelope is the correct term, but they are really um, experimenting with the Kickstarter platform to see what works and what doesn't. And it'll be interesting to see where this ends up. Anyway, guys, that's all I have. Quick little video for a quick little Kickstarter. Thank you so much for watching.